Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, today I just want to show you a small pedal board I put together um, the last days. And yeah, it's um, just want to share with you because uh, back in the days um, when I was younger, so much younger than today, we had to carry around a lot of stuff. Um, there weren't any small pedals, uh, you could simulate any kind of amp or so, no digital, all the digital stuff just came out and it sounded horrible. It's awesome what you can achieve, which sound you can achieve today with just a small pedal or a few pedals, it's really awesome. Um, but I still love my amps, so this is just for home use or for jamming and you don't want to carry around uh, too much stuff for this. Okay, today I have uh, with me uh, my nice, one of my nice uh, Ernie Ball Music Man, Steve Moore's Y2D guitars. This one is um, in a nice, I hope the camera gets it, in a nice um, solar flare color with a flame top and, and this solar flare has a rich dark red color to it and a nice kind of purple burst around the edges just a little bit and of course the purple pickups because as you know these guitars are used by Steve Morse in the band called Deep Purple. Yeah. So and this is a special one because this one has an all rosewood neck on it. Was a uh, see it in the natural lightning, the sun is shining today, very nice. So rosewood fretboard, rosewood neck, really nice sounding guitar. And yeah, it was a limited run I think in about 2014 or so. Yeah, and since I have this guitar. Okay, so let's have a look at the pedal board first. Um, yeah, now I have to put the guitar away. Uh, and come with me, as you all know, I do less cutting as less as it's possible. So here is the pedal board. Yeah, it's a really small pedal board. Um, the board itself is a Palmer Patch Bay 50S and on this board we have um, the cork, the good old DT10 which is the biggest pedal on this board and yeah eats up a lot of space but never mind. So next to it we have the swoosh flanger here. The swoosh flanger with this nice blue colored LED. Next up we have the MXR Segwald Overdrive. The, I think this was the first run as it came out. Now it's I think it's called Berserker Overdrive. And this is the good old Segwald Overdrive. Next to it we have the more 50-53 pedal hooked up or set up as two channel um, to switch. You can, if you hold the button, you can turn it on and off. So you have a bypass option. And when you hit the button a few seconds, you can put it in channel switching mode. So next to it, we have a cheap delay, an analog delay, okay, it's called analog delay, but okay, it's digital made internal wise and it's by Blacks, which is a company of stack. And as last, the last pedal, really not really a pedal, but it's a power amp in a pedal size, it's the more Baby Bomb 1330. Uh, sorry, and yeah, which is really loud. And you can switch it from warm to bright. I will just show you. We will start with warm, and I switch over to bright afterwards. And all is hooked up to this 
Harley Benton 1x12 with a vintage 30 cap and mic with a ribbon RM700 and Insure SM57. So let's have a short cut and I will hook up the camera. So, yeah, by the way, here is um, a Mesa Boogie uh, Tele um, 1x12 with the very, very heavy E voice speaker in it. And yeah, that's this cap has a lot of balls to it. It's really, it's nearly like playing a 4x12. Um, th this is awesome. But it's really a heavy cabinet. So yeah, a lot of cable chaos over here, Brr, don't look at it. Um, this is just as I hooked it up and all the stuff is laying around still. So, okay, um, let's hear it. Yeah, so now um, hooked up the camera above the pedal board, so by the way, Maybe I have to say that this patch, ne, Pedal Bay 50S by Palmer looks to me nearly the same as the go, go, as the Harley Benton. Um, I don't know what it's called um, board, the small one. Um, but I'm not sure. I think it's just a relabeled uh, pedal board in this case. So okay. Uh, we have, as said before, the DT10 as a tuner, the swoosh, flanger and the delay and this is hamburger mode bridge on the Y2D and the blue channel, the gain is around, don't, don't let you fool by the settings here because this pedal just um, saves the settings you turned in so the gain here is not as high on the blue channel as you can see it here it's set a quite a bit lower um, just noodling around a bit so yes let's start bridge humbucker you can turn it up way more so I set it to an, an break up sound so I can already or almost play clean with it while turning down the the volume of the of the guitar and uh, switching to cynical mode, so yes, here is hamburger bridge all turned up, set here on the warm setting, not on the bright, on the warm, and this is how it sounds. And this is how it sounds on the bright. It gets louder, by the way. Okay, so now when switching to single coil, on the guitar, middle position is just the single coil. Hope you can see it. And this is the bridge humbucker, this is bridge humbucker, single coil, just a single coil, and this is the the um, the hidden the Easter egg of this guitar, I would say. This in this position, both humbuckers are combined together, and on the uh, first position, it's just the neck pickup. This position sounds really cool. And yeah, just for you now the single chord position. And now turn down the volume on the guitar on the guitar a bit. Turn on the delay. Kick in the 
flanger for some chorusy effect. When you turn up the volume you can hear it. There's the breakup coming again and now bridge pickup mode again, bridge pickup again, so and if you need more gain, more gain, now let's kick in the Segwild Overdrive. And back on warm. So, switch over to the red channel, just how I set it up. And on the bright setting. This is um, how this small pedal board sounds. Just hook up the baby bomb to a cabinet. Um, the 30 watts it delivers is really loud. Um, it's a 16 ohm cabinet, so if you hook up an 8 ohm cabinet, it gets even louder. But you should not go under the 8 ohm, uh, I guess. It's just made for 8 to 16, I guess. Wait a minute, just there's something. No. Yeah, output 8 to 16 ohms. So, yeah, just a small thing. The weight is uh, ridiculous light on this one because all the pedals don't really have any kind of weight to it. So, the heaviest thing on this pedal board are the external power supplies you use. So, yeah. Hope you got an idea how it can sound or could sound and what it's just what is possible today with just a few small pedals. And you got the chance in this video to hear a nice Ernie Ball Music Man Y2D guitar, um, which are Nowadays quite expensive, I have to say. Um, yeah, that's it. Just a quick short video and I hope you like it.
Thanks for watching again. If you like all the crazy stuff and the boring stuff and the talking stuff, just subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the near future again. Thank you for watching. Bye.